How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and today's video is going to be on my Samsung Galaxy S7 uh, which should also work on the S7 Edge and maybe a lot of other devices. Today we're going to attempt to bypass factory reset protection. So as you can see this is an S7 with the lock screen locked. Let me go ahead and unlock it and show you what I'm on. So here you go. So we're going to go into settings and just show you what the device is running currently. So you guys can see it. Uh, security patch. There it is. April 2 is the security patch I'm currently on. Android 6.0.1. So you can see what we're working with here on the S7. Um, this is, uh, I think it's a T-Mobile variant. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. See, Samsung Galaxy S7, right? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and reset this device. And we're going to do that in the stock recovery, which because we have a password set and everything set up, should trip FRP or factory set protection. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and hold home, volume up, power, and just kind of keep holding them there, let go of power. There you go. It says uh, system, installing system update, which it's actually not doing. Um, it just does it before it logs into recovery. Um, so not really a big deal. So just wait a second. So no commands it says, and then is it going to go on all by itself? Yeah, there it goes. It did. All right. So we're going to wipe data factory set from here. So this is going to erase everything on your phone. So don't do this unless you need to. I mean, I'm just showing you how to do it. So wipe data factory set. Yes. Delete all user data. So this is going to delete all the user data off the device and we should trip trip that uh, FRP on the device like I've told you before. Okay, so there we go. So now we're going to reboot system and your system's going to boot up just like it would to set up a brand new device, which is pretty cool. From there, I'm going to show you basically how to get into the phone, install applications, and then if it all works out correctly, we're going to go ahead and see the full process of how to actually remove FRP lock off the device, which is going to be pretty awesome. All right, so the device is fully booted up. And what I want to show you guys is how to kind of get to the point where you can actually get into the device and actually start maneuvering. And that's probably the first part that's the hardest. Um, you've actually seen this process in other videos, so if you need to reference that, I'll try to link you to it in the video description down below. But basically, we're going to use some Wi-Fi. Um, now, if you want to see that I'm actually already tripped, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I'm going to show you that I'm actually tripped out on that problem, so uh, on FRP, so let me show you that. Okay, so if I just go through these things and just accept all the terms and conditions and it'll do all the software checks and everything and it's going to come up saying that I need to sign in with previous Google account. So this device was reset to continue signing with Google account that was previously synced to this device. Right? There it is. That's FRP. Okay. So to get past FRP, we're going to go all the way back to here. Come back in. We're going to disconnect from this Wi-Fi because I don't like using it. And we're going to connect to my phone's Wi-Fi, which is this. And what we're going to do, let me go ahead and connect, is we're going to connect to it, and then at the exact moment, I'm going to turn it off on my phone, and it's going to let us get farther into settings. So as soon as you see system updates or checking software updates, we're going to turn it off on the phone. So ready? Terms and conditions. Okay. And checking connection. And it should say updates right there. Turn it off on your phone right here, exactly there. Okay, perfect. Hit next. Okay, so you can see now I'm past those previous screens. So at this point, the best thing to do is turn on your Wi-Fi again on your phone, your other phone, um, so that you can get Wi-Fi functioning again. We're going to need it. But the cool thing is, is now we can maneuver. So let's go ahead and let's go to next. Um, you can skip this. You don't need to do it. Uh, you can say not now. You can add a finger or no thanks. I'm going to say no thanks because we don't need to have that set up right now. Skip anyway. And then this is kind of where it actually gets really, really fun right here. All right, so from here, this is where it gets a little bit fun. We're going to go to Google Terms of Service. 
And from here, the cool thing is, is you can come in here and you can highlight something and you have the share feature again. Yay, let's dig a little deeper. So you hit share and you click on this uh, setup, Samsung setup wizard. Oh man, it doesn't work. Decline for security reasons. Yeah, not really. I just faking you guys out. So we'll try it again. Watch this. Share. Hold down on setup wizard. Whoa! What? 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 What is this? What have we here? Yeah, yeah, we're deeper. That's right. So from here, we can go ahead and go into data usage. And we can do upgrade data services. Ah, we got the internet. So we can go in here to settings, say OK for default for Chrome, hit continue. No thanks, you don't need to add an account right now. And we are in two Chrome. Shabam. How do you like them apples? Now we have a maneuverability and a keyboard. So we can go to google.com and then we can go from wherever we want from here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to my website and see if I can download something. So that's rootjunkiesdl.com. And we're gonna go there. And we're gonna go to apps. All right guys, so from here, we're gonna come down here and we're going to install this application, which is a quick shortcut application. So we're gonna click on that one and we're gonna hit okay. This is gonna just download it to our device. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to go back to google.com and then we're going to type in here, this right here, Samsung App Store. All right, we're going to click on the first link and then that's going to take us to the Samsung uh, App Store. There we go. And then just scroll down here and click on this little icon. And voila, please install Samsung Galaxy app. Okay, let's hit go, go away from that. Don't worry about that. Go back to it and launch it again. There we go, hit agree. It keeps doing this. Try it again, just to keep ignoring that thing. Agree. There we go. All right, just ignore that pop-up. We don't want to. We don't want to deal with that. Don't show. All right, so here we go. So now we're in the App Store. Now we can go in here to More, and we can sign in. So let me sign into my Samsung account. It could be any account, or you can even create a new account, as you can see right here. But I have an account, so I'll sign into mine. All right, so now that we are signed in, come up here to search, search for File Explorer, and pick the one you want to install. So I've already actually installed this one, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And it should bring me in here. And then I'm going to go to Downloads, and there is your quick uh, shortcut maker. So we're going to hit View, Settings, allow unknown sources okay and then hit install and this is going to install the quick shortcut maker so from here we're going to go ahead and hit open and we're going to do a search for google uh, manager and it looks like it already came up with account manager so we're going to click that one down and then we're going to scroll and look for an exact one of these. So we're going to look for, let's see if we can find it. This one right here, it says type email and password. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to hit try. And it comes to this side, retry password. Well, from here, we're going to go ahead and hit up here. We're going to go sign in with browser. Hit OK. And we're going to type in the email that we want to link to the device. Whatever one you want to put in, your current email and password. So let me do that. All right, so I'm signing in, as you can see here. And I think it signed me in. I honestly don't know. But to find out, we're going to go back. And we're going to just go back out of everything. And if everything worked correctly and it added the Google account, 
we will not have that lock screen at the beginning. So let's go see. Keep going back through all the trickery. Oh, yep, all this, all this process. And actually, well, actually, you know, we can actually, actually just go from here. So, because it'll reloop if we don't have it set up right. So, to check it, we'll see if we got it. So, set up time and date. This is not actually Eastern, so I'm actually Central Time. And we'll go next. Not now. Next. No thanks for the pin. Skip anyway for now. Next, next, next. And see if the device lets us go. Look at that. That's new. Restoring data. Copy content from old device later. Oh yeah, check it out. Check it out. Samsung Galaxy S7, X7 Edge, and probably a ton of other devices. First account added next. This is awesome, this is new. This is gonna let me in this phone right now. And like I said, this process of using that Google Manager and doing the retry and then signing with the browser genius genius um i've had some buddies of mine show me this on facebook uh, i saw some other youtube videos out there that are kind of some of these steps and i kind of put them all together and this gets us on the samsung galaxy s7 and this is quite amazing so it's just checking right now to make sure everything's good and once it does the phone should boot up and we should be in fully bypassed factory set protection because we were able to add in a Google account through the browser. Totally amazing. This is interesting. It actually looped me back to this time and date. So we're just going to try going through these settings one more quick time. No thanks. Skip anyway. It should continue through. Here we go. Backup devices. So I'm going to do set up new. Hit next. We should be through here. This is all new stuff, so copy the old content later. Finish. That's it right there. Oh, come on. Later. Finish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I don't agree to data collection. Interesting. It's, it's giving me a loop on this thing. Let's just, let's just start this and see if we can... Look, look at all this. I've got all this. Look at it. See it? Look at this. It's crazy. I'm like so close. It should be almost done. It won't let me get past it. Let's go all the way back out. Oh, look at this. I can even get into here. Look at this. It's just locking. That's crazy. All right. Let's see if I can go back to all the way to the... Okay, so how about this? Oh, see, I've got my phone and my lock screen. I can get my camera. I just can't get to that home screen. It's, it's freezing me up here. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do a reboot at this point. And see if it works. Because I have a Google account signed in. It should function at this point by signing in from the browser. But maybe it needs to just go through that setup screen again, even though it's already in there. Let's just see what happens here on a restart. So swipe up to unlock. Oh, there it is. Restart did it. Woo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right that's awesome it's done totally logged in totally full access google account added awesomeness there you go guys tons of you've been asking for this video tons of you and here it is a little help from the internet actually a lot of help for the internet a little help from some friends and some trickery amazingness Take that Samsung Root Junkies back with another FRP video. All right, that's enough out of me. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for more FRP bypass videos. 
And now that I've done it on here, probably should check it on some Nexus devices because I bet you you could do the same thing. Awesomeness. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Root Junkie out.